speech today, okay? <laughs> he, like, um, I found that lost, for example, and it was horrible because I had no clue where it was. Well, let me tell you where it was. It was on top of my grandma's car, and she took off. She drove to, like, she was going to Roberts, and she passed the park, and it, like, she, when she turned that corner, it flew off. And my phone was just kind of laying on the side of the road by the park. Okay, well, these people, two very, very nice people, <laughs> um, they drove past it on their bikes, not their bikes, their motorcycle, whatever. And they saw it, and they were like, hey, there's a phone. So they went around the block and pulled up beside it, and they were like, hey, I'm going to take this phone. So they took it, and I guess they called my parents, and they were like, hey, we got your phone. Um, y'all can come get it if y'all want it. So they left it in their mailbox, and I got my phone back. And, okay, so like, and plus I've been sick, all snotty and stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but how many of you guys have been hurt before? I've been hurt before. Like, when we get hurt, a lot of people just tend to pull away from God. And you'll see people, like, pull out of church and, like, just kind of leave. But, like, they're nothing without God in their life. When, they're, when they get, like, a stone heart, their heart will be, like, completely, and they'll build walls, and then they don't know how to tear them down. Like, because that's kind of how I've been lately. Like, I just kind of, ugh, I don't want to preach. Why am I at church? Like, that's just how I've been. And, uh, we'll, like, we'll pull away from God, and we'll turn to other things, like, our cell phones, or Facebook, or boyfriends, or whatever else. Those are just idols. Those are what we call our new gods. And in the Bible, in Judges 5.8, it says, having a new god will cause war. It don't cause war, with, it causes war with ourselves, but with God. Like, he'll fight and fight and fight until he gets us back. And, like, he'll torment you every single day until, you're, until you realize that you need help. And then you'll be like, God, help me. In class the other day, I was just kind of sitting there, and I've been thinking about how my life's completely gone off track from God. I was just sitting in class, we were doing nothing but playing cards, so I was like, I'm going to listen to my music. So I was listening to Dying Star, what we just did, and I just cried. God was like, Leah, you've messed up a lot, you just need to come back. So I was sitting on my head on the desk, crying, and listening to this song, and I was like, God, help me. And people realized, saw that I was crying, and they were like, why are you crying? And I was just like, because I can. Like, I didn't know what to say. Like, I was scared to be like, God just touched me. Because really, he just smacked me in the face. <laughs> he did. And, um, going through what we go through every day, like I said, it was just away from God. Uh, Ezekiel 36:25. It says, "Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. Your filth will be washed away, and you will no longer worship, worship idols or new gods. And I will give you a new heart, and will put a new spirit in you. I will take out the stony, stubborn heart, and give you a tender, responsive heart. And I will put my spirit in you, so that you will follow my." decreases and be careful to obey my regulations. He'll sprinkle us with water and clean us. That's pretty much forgiveness. Like he'll wash us away like chalk on a chalkboard. Like we write on the chalkboard, we're like, hey, that's dirty. And then we don't want it there no more. So we'll wipe it away. And it's never there again. Like you can't just magically say, hey, be back on that board and come back. Unless you're Stephen. You <laughs> but um, <laughs> it'll be completely clean and like the chalk is gone. That's what he does with our life. Like everything that's inside of us, everything that's been built up and that's holding you back, he'll wash you clean. He'll forgive you. And like he'll just give you a completely new heart. And I don't remember who said this, but it's like you have these clear white, no, pure white gloves on your hands. And you go through your life and you're working and your gloves get dirty. Well, if you put them in bleach, they'll be completely white again. That's what he does to our heart. Like he'll bleach us. And then it says, it says, um, I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a new heart. He just 
restores us makes our life so much better. And uh, like when we look back on ourselves, we'll be like, I can't believe I was like that. Like we found God, and I've been living like God with God my whole life, growing up in this church. But you still pull you away, and I'll be like way over there. And I'm just repeating myself, but <laughs> like I don't know. He'll make you new. Amen. Because he has me. Like today I woke up just crying and crying. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. But I don't see why I'm nervous because it's not me speaking, it's God through me. And yeah, Rachel, you could preach and you're next. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> we'll be next with Maddie too. But you guys can't let nerves or whatever pull you away from God. Or being hurt. Because we've all been hurt, but we're still here. We're still living for God. Like Jesse said, who cares? Who cares about everything else? Who cares what people think about us? Just, yeah, don't worry about yourself. Who cares what you look like? Like, really? I mean, if we could just go back to the old days, just be like Adam and Eve running around naked, that would just be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it wasn't for sin, we'd all be like that. People mess up, but God will forgive you. He'll give you a new heart. And he'll make everything new. We'll all be better. Yeah. It'll be a better place. Just kind of like Jesse said, we wake up every morning and be like, "Yay, God!" I can't scream because my clothes is kind of gone. But Jesse, Jesse's just great. <laughs> all right. Anyways, so like. <laughs> don't let stuff hold you back yeah. and I just pray that every single one of you guys will let that just take that in and if you're going through everything just get rid of it just pray just be like God change me give me a new heart because he will he really will he has me and uh, <laughs> Do you guys have anything to say? Mikey. Mikey wants to say something, Mikey. <laughs>